On today's K Day Tackle Talk, I'll be talking you through deep jigging for wintertime bass in impoundment dams. So, right now we're at uh, Lost Dock Dam. We've probably travelled uh, five minutes away from where we launched, and we've currently just found a school of fish. <coughs> so, this is what the bass look like when you find the schools. They're all wiggly, so there's a whole heap of them. So usually winter time you'll you'll find them down nice and deep. So the simplest, easiest way to catch them is deep jigging. So all I've got is a 1 8 jig head onto a gulp nemesis. And then all you need to do is drop the lure straight to the bottom. Wait for it to get all the way down. Try and land it on top of the fish's head. So it's still dropping, still dropping, still dropping. And the reason I'm using only a 1 8 jig head in 38 feet of water is because it keeps it nice and light so it has slower to sink once you give it a nice jig. So it's finally hit the bottom now. So all you do, nice slow lift. And then couple of little taps. Let it go all the way back down. Oh, 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 oh. Nearly. As soon as you find that tiny, tiny investigation sort of strike, they've actually got it in their mouth. They've sucked it in. But summertime, it'll be a giant whack. Ah, he's going straight for you. That's where the finesse rods sort of come into it because you feel that tap a bit more. Try not to over tighten as well because they'll see the boat and they'll freaking run big time. Oh, yeah, he's solid too. So fat too. See them. Measuring. So you can see the technique works, you just gotta make sure that you're going slow. And as soon as you feel that tap, you've gotta be really quick, strike it. He's huge. I can see him on the sounder. First cast. <laughs> no, 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 no. <sighs> yeah, but here's the school. Yep, I can see it on the sounder. Trying to head back for it. <sighs> He's heavy. There, there he is. <laughs> uh, should see the size of him. See a 
buddy. Okay, so just a little bit of a recap of what, what we've been doing for the day and uh, things that worked for us. So uh, through the day, when we first got out here at uh, seven o'clock, that was they weren't even really sitting at the shallows or anything. So the only place that they'll, they'll sort, of, sort of congregating in is deep water. So we've found that um, they've been sitting about 20 feet, 30 feet. Uh, sometimes you'll get a little school and then other times you'll get a bigger school like, like you just seen previously. Um, the colors that were working was, the best one was the camo. That's what I landed the most on, the gulp three inch nemesis. These are really good because they have a really big uh, curl tail, uh, curl tail as, it, as it falls, it sort of wriggles a lot more. Plus, if you do lose a tail, you can use it as a bit of a jerk shad. The other color that we were using was the smelt. That's more of a natural sort of color. And what I was using yesterday was the pink in the Nemesis as well. So do get on, do, do try this sort of style of jigging, especially in the winter time and it, it does help if you watch your sounder a lot more and try and study it. So even if you chuck it on simulation, watch and see what the, the archers and the fish are starting to do on the simulation, then come out to the water and try it out here. So if you have any questions, um, please comment in the link below and if you like what you're seeing, please share it to all your mates. Thanks guys. School.